Well, it's a rainy, nasty Tuesday. That's why I raced around like a crazy person yesterday, getting all the grass and everything cut. No spin today. Going to pick up one pocket knife, bench made, and eat some breakfast. Stand by. Brown truck. I'm uh, modifying my little doodad thing, my grinder. I'm moving. Uh, I'm moving to the edge of the plywood and over approximately an inch and a half to the right. I just remounted this piece. Instead of being out further, I moved it back further, about an inch. And then the brown truck brought me this. They sell some nice stuff. I don't buy much from them, or I haven't in the past, I mean, but I'm going to start buying some stuff from them. Stand by, let's see what's in here. I've, I've even forgotten. And they got a big fancy catalog. Chance Knife Making Supplies. Look how thick it is. I'll be two days in a recliner reading that. Mm. Peanuts. I hate them. I got a six inch by half inch buffing wheel. Like that one right there. Concentric sewed wheel. Six by three quarter, 65 ply. And some Norton 36 grit belts for lawnmower blades and hatchets and stuff. And a 3M Scotch Bright Fine. I've been using the blue uh, fine. This is this is very fine or extra fine they call it. Wait a minute, let's see what they do call it. Uh, 3M Super Fine is what they call it. I'm gonna give her a spin here in just a minute. See how she works. Not these, not these babies, but that super fine. One of these tapered spindles, left hand. I got three right hand ones. One here, another one in the drawer, and the one over there is for uh, seven, eight, three quarter shafts. This is half inch left hand side tapered spindle for spinning these wheels on. You can take them off in a hurry. It's Thursday. It's blowing like hell. It's cold. This is bad weather for me. Better land or not. I'm headed to, I am headed to the land or not actually. But I'm just taking some knives back to the uh, Mayflower Cafe. I sharpened for him. We had dinner there, you know, we eat there on Wednesday night, so he gave me some knives to sharpen and I'm breaking them back to him. I'm going to take you down here and let you look at the bay. It's bad. We've got a uh, small, I don't know what kind of advisory we got. High tide flooding. It's, I mean, it's blowing like brick bats since yesterday. Rain. Stand by a minute. Beaver's back. Uh, he went yesterday to uh, the, a little bit south of the land of Nada. And uh, it was bleak. And like another guy was down there. He said it was bleak, really bleak. When he says it's bleak, oh my god. Look at this. I told you, boy. I told you. Ooh, baby. Just moving some stuff right here. <laughs> yes, sir. Ray Bob. Look at that. Right out of the house. Mm hmm. That's a nice spot. That's a house that got washed out about a couple years ago, you know. They finally filled it back in and put a new bulkhead on it about seven, eight months ago. It's been tested several times. It's getting tested as we speak right now, too. Mother Nature at her finest. Stand by. The land of Nana. Look at them flags, man. I'm telling you, it's rough as bricks down here. You can't see it, and I'm not getting that because it's raining. But. It's cooking down here, I can tell you. We'll see what tomorrow looks like. 
as we go across, you might be able to see it at bay if I hold the camera up high enough. Look at that. I told you, it's bad. Built, we're going to get on it and then they're going to tear this bridge over and put another one. It's going to be two two new bridges. High bridges so sailboats can get under them. Some sailboats that is. Saturday morning. 7.55. Headed to the grand opening of the East Beach Farmers Fair. First Saturday in May. Low Tide Tim, he's probably getting set up at the uh, Shore Drive Market. It's like de it's like detecting. We'll have a comparison. Who does what? I know he's going to have at least 14 because a guy called me yesterday and said, I'm coming by with 14 knives. I said, okay. One of them will be at East Beach and one will be at Shore Drive. Oh, I'm going to Shore Drive. It's closer. <laughs> anyway, it's been raining all night long. It's just now quit. Maybe at maybe 6.45 it stopped raining. And, and the sun has come out. That's what it's supposed to be. But then they got another little shower moving in. I think at 2 or 3. But I'll be home by then, I hope. I mean, I know I will. The granddaughter's coming in town from New York to spend Mother's Day with her grandma. She'll be here around 11. We've got Mr. Canyon with us. He spent the night with us last night. He's going to spend the night with a buddy of his tomorrow. We're going to take him over there. Chris is going to take him over there in about two hours. I got my truck loaded with knife junk. Gas. What is gas? Gas has gone up to two dollars and five cent a day at Wawa. Good gracious. I'm not complaining. I mean I am, but I'm not. You know what I mean? Alright, stand by. Let's see what it looks like. This place is going to be wet where we go in the fields. I mean, you know, it's a, it's a big park. Luckily, I'm under that little overhang. The gazebo or whatever the hell you call it. Stand by. I brought my new little buffer grinder, polisher, variable speed, whatever you want to call it. And I got a 30 tapered spindle on here for my different soft puffing wheels. I have that cleanup wheel here that I'm doing some cleaners with. And on here I got Formax, the sister wheel. Doing a really good cleanup. Four Max. Sizzle. That's that really stiff rope. Look at the ends of it hanging off there. I gotta cut them off. Okay. No customers yet, just set up. It's kind of sparse on vendors compared to last year so far. Nino's, the Italian sauce guy. I think that's the soap lady. Seafood man is doing okay. Coffee, tea, honey and peanuts, and me. Tim and I decided to sell some knives at the uh, other market, and we did okay for the first couple Saturdays. So I brought some to this market. Here I got some cleavers, kitchen knives, and a lot of different kind of oyster knives. Oyster's a big thing around here, you know. Victor Knox, Dexter's, used stuff. 
So I get three dollars for the little ones and five dollars for the big ones. All sorts and sizes. Scissors. So, uh, <laughs> like they barely got me in there. It had the ID. <laughs> things, things are improving. I had uh, eight or nine. I think I showed you eight or nine knives and them trimmers, loafers. Now I got two pruners. There was a whole block of capillons in that block. A whole block of them, like 13. Steak, eight steak knives serrated on the front. Hold on a minute. Can't see shit here. Chopping blade on the back, serrated on the front. Eight of these babies. And here's one of them. Looks like a screwdriver knife. Stand by. Three. A mixed variety, Wustos and Hinkles. Four in total. This is my buffing wheel after I use this hard sizzle wheel. This mouse trap is not going to work. Unless, I mean, it's not going to work with this tapered spindle. Works okay, but when I put a lot of pressure on this one for some of the dirty, nasty cleanup stuff from the sap and all that stuff, it wants to spin a little bit at the very end. So I'm going to have to either put permanent on here like this one is, you know, tight against the uh, shaft adapter. No spindle. No uh, re tapered spindle, I mean. That would that would fix it up. This is uh this nylon thing's pretty good, but I found that it's not nearly as good as a scissor wheel. You know I got that little bow door buffer. I either got to bring that and this. This has got so many more features. That's why I want to try to use it for more things. But I'm never using any features yet, so I can't say it's helpful. But it should be somewhere down the road, especially at the gun show. We'll see how it goes. Pocket knife there. Mm -hmm. Who's got a pocket that big? <laughs> uh -huh. Business is picking up here. <laughs> All right. I got 45 minutes to go. This will just about kill it. Another customer, too, with four. All nice wood sauce. Three pair, two pairs of serrated knife and a chest knife. I got to go to work. Goodbye. Well, the mailman came while I was at the knife gig. Ordered one of those Ziff serrated sharpeners from Columbia River. It's a super duper serrated knife sharpener. Twenty seven bucks eBay. I'll take it out in a minute, and take a look at it. Carrying case and a handle for that end and a handle for this end. Handle screws on the uh, flat big diamond. Each one of these is a different like size, you know. Step. Step smaller scale, and it'll screw it off. And then this end screws into this end from this side if you want to use the smaller serrations that way. You know what I mean. This one can be either way. This way, or screw it on like that from the other end. Pretty neat little tick ticket. I like the size of the serration steps too. Okay, 